so let me get inside your head for a minute. You're saying, LFG, why are you holding a pair of odd shoes? You also might be asking, why are you just oddly kneeling next to a tree? It's all about the balance we talked about in the last video. And these shoes right here are, are toe shoes. I'm not exactly sure what the proper definition is. When I was in probably my best shape ever, I ran in toe shoes like this. You have to run a little bit differently. You have to learn how to kind of uh, land on certain parts of your feet so you don't injure yourself. Um, but one of my favorite things that I used to do uh, when I was running a lot was I, I would come out and I'd run the trails around the lakes and stuff uh, wherever I was. And I just found that to be extremely therapeutic and also challenging, good challenge to really just totally take your mind off everything. It's, it's almost like fishing where, you know, every cast you're having to really focus and it, it takes you away from whatever's bugging you or, or bothering you in your life. And in, and in trail running, especially with toe shoes like this, you really have to avoid every little rock that might roll your ankle or root or you just really have to be on point every step. You know, so part of the balance I talked about last time is obviously fitness and reducing that stress, but also what I want to do is really prepare myself for battle. I don't know what is, is coming down the pipe as far as treatment. I don't know how far out it's going to be. I don't know whether it's going to be surgery or whether it's going to be radiation treatment. Um, I'm not totally sure, but what I do know is I, I need to prepare myself for that battle. I want to be in peak mental, physical, spiritual condition when I have to really enter that battle. And while I can, since I've lived this, with this thing from what the doctors say for years, as long as I'm in no pain, my head's not killing me, I can go out and exercise and, and help you know, reduce these stress factors and, and reduce my, my heart rate, I'm gonna totally prepare myself for future battles ahead. So getting these shoes is just like a throwback to <laughs> an older version of me, I guess, when I was uh, in really good shape and um, I just wanted to, I wanna get back there. And so these shoes reminded me of that. So I'm gonna slap these on and we'll do a little trail running. I don't know what my limits are gonna be. I'm just gonna go for it and see until I start having some issues. Right now I feel totally fine though. I feel okay and I just, I gotta, I gotta get out there and start just moving around again, you know? I can't sit inside all day, that's just not me. So basically I forgot how much more difficult trail running is than regular running. My feet are soft. That's the other thing I forgot about running in these minimalistic style shoes. You really have to build your feet up. It's a build up process. Right now my feet are just like little soft baby feet. And when I used to run in these a lot, my feet were just like hard, like Indian warrior feet. But it's just like a muscle. It's like anything else, you gotta build it up and eventually get stronger and you're a stronger person for it. It was also a pretty emotional run, not gonna lie. I definitely ran a lot of demons out on that run. You know, just thinking about all the people around me, it's like I didn't wanna quit, quite honestly. Having the circle of people around me that I have right now makes you feel unbeatable, uh, just unchallengeable. It, it is, uh, it's, it's amazing. And you guys have helped build that circle. My friends, family, sponsors have helped build that circle where nothing right now is gonna be able to come through that circle. Now, whether you believe in in uh, in spiritual demons or just you know regular life demons, all the thing, the negativity uh, that comes through when you're down. That's that's the key. It all comes in when you're down, when you're at your your lowest and. When you have a, a team, uh, a, a, just a circle of amazing people around you to make this um, just impenetrable barrier of positivity, nothing can get you down. 
no no demons no negativity is going to be able to get you down and that's what i feel now all the time you know and and i know it's going to get more and more intense as uh the days go on when things get more difficult but even just on this run i just feel like i have i have people right behind me just pushing me through and before i go any further in this vlog too i just have to thank some people so beyond the fishing freak nation all you guys that have been su supporting me uh so far there's just been a lot of people that have just put the word out helped with a lot of you know business financial things you know just the other day demolition ranch put the word out about the whole situation and the shirts and i've only met matt once and i could just i could just tell you he's an incredible guy if you're a young person looking for inspiration um i would go to matt because he is so smart um so creative and just an amazing guy um just for him to help not just me, but he helps so many other people. Um, my hat's off to that guy. He's just an outstanding human being. I gotta thank all the Googans. I gotta thank Andrew Flair, Perrick, Rob, John B. I've been hanging out with Rob Lunkers TV a lot lately. And uh, you know, despite all the headaches he gives me and how crazy he is, um, the one thing he knows how to do the best is, is fight. He is a fighter. So if, if any of y'all don't know him, and, I, and probably a lot of you don't know him, like I do and some of the other people that are close to him do, and he doesn't talk about it a whole lot, but he knows how to fight. He knows how to fight for his team, his friends, um, in, in the ditches, man. And um, I just gotta give a shout out to Rob and the rest of the, rest of the Googans for really helping me just, They've had my back the whole time. The entire YouTube fishing community too. Uh, and all you guys know who you are. Just people I'm close with, collaborators, people I've done collabs with, and, and other guys I've, I've never collabed with before. Are, I've seen people posting and, and reaching out. and uh, it's, it's incredible how the fishing community has come together so strong. You know, Matt's got his Demolition Ranch Army. I know you, a lot of you guys are watching this now. Shout out to you guys and shout out to the, the I guess we'll call it the Fishing Freak Army because it's, those two armies right there are very strong. I know you've probably heard a lot of anglers in your day give shout out to their sponsors. I wouldn't even compare this to, to that sort of thing. The partners that I work with on this channel, I wouldn't even really call them sponsors. They're just, they're just friends and just amazing people. Uh, companies. You guys heard me talk about favorite fishing earlier in the year when when I decided to join with with them and work with them. And one of the main reasons I wanted to join with them is because they were a Christian company and just a a small company that had really good uh, family values. And literally just being on the phone with with sponsors like that and you know it just. Having true friends and shoot, man, this is tough for me, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Having people that are not just sponsors, but that reach out to you and want to help in every single way possible is amazing. So I have to thank Favorite Fishing. I have to thank Mystery Tackle Box. I've done so much work with them and gotten to know them so well and become friends with them before all this. And you know, from day one. Justin, what do you need? We're here for you. You know, we'll facilitate anything we can, anything in our power to help you. Matt from Print, PRNT, my, my shirt guy, the guy I introduced you to the other day in one of my vlogs that he does a lot of the fishing YouTuber uh, clothing. He's, a, he's an amazing editor and all sorts of other things, but just an amazing guy as well. Yeah, I don't know how fast you guys saw the shirts come out and how quick the designs came out but matt and his company print were behind that he's not taking a profit from from any of this uh that's going to to help me and stephanie it, it he has stopped his life all these other guys everybody has stopped their life to try to help this situation out so i will never be able to thank everyone that has been helping enough 
I honestly don't even know how to express how I feel in words. I, I can't even do it. And one of these days, I'm gonna think of somehow to, to repay all these people in a very special way. But I just feel like I have to thank everybody. And I know I've left out people, and I'm sorry, there's just so much. <laughs> you know, Willis has taken up some space in there too, so I can't, I can't think of everything. So everyone else, you know who you are, thank you. Thank you so much. Now, let's get back to happy things. I think this is the new LFG theme song, guys. This is lifting me up. Oh yeah. LFD has offered to wash my car. He already washed Ocean Spoon Girl's car. He's just like, how can, how can we, uh, how can we help here? What does that wash me? Me. Should Willis. Put kill Willis. Okay. Down with Willis. Kill Willis. <laughs> oh man. That just gave me a good shirt idea. Not for Kill Willis, but for something else. Anyway, LFD is awesome. The whole family's awesome. Just a good old family weekend. My calves, by the way, holy cow, are incredibly sore. I forgot to tell you guys that running in minimalistic shoes is, uh, it's like a whole nother level for your feet. You have to really train the muscles in your feet, or it basically trains them for you. But your feet normally, if we didn't wear shoes all the time, would be really ripped. Like all the muscles in your feet would be really strong and your calves and everything. But because we wear shoes all the time, it's like having a cushion around there so you don't really build those muscles up. So woo, when you run in those must minimalistic shoes, it just builds everything up and my feet are so sore. Well, what do we have happening out here? Oh, nothing much. I'm just gonna sit, I am so tired. I worked Ooh. out this morning. I know you did. <laughs> and. We should have planned this better. We should have. See, OSG was going for like a power walk, turned into a run. Yeah, it was basically. just going to be a long walk. She went without me, but I was working. I was working on something this morning, and then I went for a trail run. My my shoes came in. I was like, I'm just going to go, and then and everybody like, pretty much hey. decided like, hey, that's probably a bad idea for you to go out by yourself when you have a brain tumor and could have a stroke and die out there. Well, so especially since you went on trails. That's yeah. Cool. Well, there was a lot of people around because it's, you know. But weekend. you didn't even have your wallet with you. I had nothing with me. Yeah. Sorry. It was just me and Willis. But next time I'll take you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Please don't do that again. You being a lazy bulldog? You enjoying the sun? You can definitely tell that he's he's acting differently. He's like, I don't want to be on camera right now. <laughs> I'm wet. I don't look my best. Oh, there he is. Hey, look who it is, Winston. Winston. Say hi to the fishing freaks, man. <laughs> He's just focusing all his energy on, like, if I go down, <laughs> I gotta get to kick it. Or somebody's gotta save me. Right now, Winston is watching for Stephanie to come back. Because he watched her leave. And she's going to get pizza. And apparently it's supposed to be, like, kind of healthy pizza. I don't know. But we're waiting that right now. barking at? What are you barking at? You don't even know what you're barking at. You can tell when he's not serious when he doesn't even leave his perch. He's just sitting there. Hey, you need to sit down. Barking at, barking at that gum goat. Hey. Calm down. Calm down. I <laughs> the noises he makes sometimes. I don't even if he's a dog. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And the girls are back. We are back. Winston was waiting on you. He oh. Was, he was awaiting your presence. All right, so what are we, how is this pizza? Is this not this healthy is at all? This is not healthy chew approved. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, you look <laughs> but like you're chowing down. <laughs> it's from Whole Foods. Okay, so well counts, that makes it okay. Counts for something. Oh boy, okay. Well, I'll get on the diet portion of my balance program after today. How about that? Well, after that delicious pizza, wasn't so healthy. It did have artichokes on it though. I'm heading to the MTB house, otherwise known as the Guggen house. Uh, oh crap, I forgot something really important that I needed to bring over there. You know, I've been such a forgetful person in my adult life, and now I'm starting to wonder like, is it just me? Or is it Willis that's causing these memory issues? 
I was doing a little research on where Willis is and the parts of the body and the, the functions that it can affect. And one of those things is memory loss. And the other one is like slurred speech. So when I start like really mixing up my words on my videos, that's when you guys know it's time to go, it's time to get Willis out. That or I just need to go to an AA meeting. Those are jokes, folks. Keep it light. We're doing like 35, 40 minutes. Here's some of the guys I was talking about earlier. Hey guys. I was talking Hi. good about you, you don't even know. Oh really? Yeah. You're nice. <sighs> they are nice people. They just try to be mean on camera just to impress you guys. So we're uh, we're about to do a podcast, is that right? Yes sir. Looks really? like you guys just did one on some fan mail or something. Four months ago. <laughs> Four months ago? <laughs> well, it still looks fresh out yeah, here. Yeah, gotta keep it fresh. Dude, that's some awesome stuff uh, you guys got. We're a little bit behind schedule. We're a little bit behind podcasts. Yeah. I think the last one was May. Slacking. Well, let's pick it up. Let's get it going. I bet these tails are all nice and crusty by now. Oh, yeah. No, no, Flair, too <laughs> No, it's too low. He's gonna actually, no, you're gonna cut your forehead. You're just gonna have to rip it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> that was so much funnier like in the life into my head. It's a really, really nice looking bass, Rob. Thank I you. I gotta say. You did good work. They did good work. Yeah, they did a really good job. Is there water in the I mean look at the little scales. Um or there's water in the door. We're gonna have the other got the other one that's gonna be right here. And then John's got his musky that we're gonna put up uh Perfect. How big was the musky? Forty two. Good night, brothers. Good night. Keep Bye. Never stop. Never, stop. Never stop. All right, we're back now. I think it was good for me to just get out and talk about some fishing for a while. In these next few days, I'm gonna kind of be in limbo, and I hate this because I'm trying to get my next appointment with the vascular neurosurgeon. I'm just waiting on that, and that's when I'm gonna really find out more plan of action. So I guess I'm just gonna go fish. Like I feel like I need to get back on the water for. You know the first time maybe not get back on the water with my boat but just go cast a line and i really don't want to overdo things when i'm fishing uh, i get lost out there and i just go and go and go but i'm gonna have to kind of break my fishing trips up into segments probably go in the early mornings or late evenings when it's when it's a little cooler and then just continue all these other things just you know keep the balance in my life but i'm really looking forward to like strapping that chesty cam on again and just getting out and doing a little bass fishing and just talking about it you know, it's, it's just like a second nature to me now just to go do that and to talk to you guys. And uh, I could talk about fishing all day. I really can, I really can. It just takes my mind off everything. So stay tuned for that. And I've already been a little emotional in this video and I've thanked a lot of people. So I'm just gonna keep it bright and peppy here at the end and just say one quick thank you for all you guys leaving all the great comments down below. I've been reading them. It's been lifting me up. So the next time I see you guys, hopefully I'll be grabbing a bass and just Lifting it to my face to get that sweet smell. I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you on the next video.